what is going on guys and welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to show you a method of promoting max bounty offers and being being able to make several hundred dollars a day using this specific method all right guys so in this method we're going to be using the google display network for promoting your uh, max bounty offers and this is a very very interesting uh, method it's not a it's not a very common method a lot of people don't use the google display network uh simply because they don't really know how it works and they don't have much experience in and so in this video i'm going to show you exactly how you can do it and how you can make money with it okay so now that we know the traffic source right the next important thing is picking the offer right and this is probably the most important thing of any campaign is picking out the right offer and when it comes to max bounty right there's a lot of different offers that we can run and it's very important to know which offers are you know which offers run better on this network or which offers run better on that network and so when it comes to kind of the kind of offers you want to pick right a lot of people they go into sweepstakes surveys uh zip submits email submits and unfortunately you cannot really run these types of offers on the google display network because that's not what google display network is all about and so that is something you have to understand right now there's a lot of kind of categories you have a lot of business to business dating you have e-commerce when it comes to you know running ad offers on google display network or facebook or one of these places i really like e-commerce is good but i also like education a lot right education has some really amazing offers and so for this specific uh, tutorial, we're going to be using an educational offer. And so if I go to the educational category, right, we have College Backer, Honor Society, Use Concealed Carry Lessons Online, Skillshare Free Trial, Scholarship Owl, and then another Scholarship Owl. And so one thing you have to understand is that when you're buying traffic, which is something that we're doing right here, is that you want the CPA rate to be relatively high, right? You don't want the CPA rate to be a dollar because every single click is going to be like at least a dollar, maybe 50 cents. But even with 50 cents, you need two clicks to break even, which is not very realistic, right? So what you want is a higher CPA payout. So I really like anything above 25, sometimes above 30 is kind of my sweet spot. And for this particular um, case study, we're going to be picking the scholarship owl offer, right? And this actually pays $28 per lead. And this is an offer where basically users can register for hundreds of scholarship with a single application this is fantastic right because in the united states right colleges are not free they're fairly expensive but the the benefit is that there are a lot of different scholarships that give out money but you know the downside is that you don't really know which scholarships you are eligible for and so it, it's a lot of work it's a lot of time it's a lot of effort and this offer this service actually makes it easier for you right scholarship all makes applying for scholarships faster and easier uh, easier subscription range from five to fifteen dollars per month so here you go this is a legit really this is um you know it's a it's a simple subscription service and they're basically going out and finding out which scholarships you're eligible for and i actually went ahead let's go ahead and open the landing page you always want to do that every offer that you promote you want to offer you want to open the landing page right you just want to see what what the offer is all about we have info about our services contact you know it's a nice high quality landing page right save time and concentrate on what's really important to you learn more sign up now and you know it's a it's a legit site you know it's been featured in a lot of other uh legitimate you know like TechCrunch, you know forbes uh things like that so it's a legit service right you can learn more about them they have a number you can call they even have a an app in the app store that you can download new so it's a legit kind of product right and so i don't feel i don't feel i'm not embarrassed to actually go out and to promote it on places like facebook google ads google display network and so i feel comfortable with it and so this is something we're going to be doing and so once we get back to kind of the offer page you really want to take a look on the allowed traffic types right we have email contextual pretty much all of them are allowed except incentive which is absolutely fine because incentive is not something that you know is typically you want to promote right and not a lot of offers allow incentive status is approved there's no daily cap network epc is 28 cents which is not very high not very low it's the average which is absolutely fine countries allowed united states of america which is exactly what we want 
all device operating systems allowed you know expiry date none you know it's it's a, it's a good it's a it's a very good kind of evergreen offer it's not a seasonal offer it's going to run for a while and so we're going to create our link we just click on display raw link we have the landing page and we have the link here okay now when you are basically when you're promoting on the google display network there are two things you have to know number one is that you need to create a banner right it's not like uh, google ads where you're basically it's a text only ad this is based on banners that's number one number two is that i do not recommend direct linking google is probably not gonna approve your link if it has all of these crazy parameters because they know this is an affiliate link i mean google is not stupid right they know that this is an affiliate link so they're probably not gonna they're not gonna approve it right so you won't be able to kind of run with it and so what I recommend is creating a landing page. There's a lot of other ways of promoting it without direct linking. I do not recommend direct linking. I re creating a landing page is one way out of it. And so here I have a landing page for another offer. This is not for this offer. This is a quick landing page. It took me about 10 minutes to create. Uh, and I'm also going to make a video, another video. I'm going to teach you how to do it correctly. But anyway, it took me like 10 minutes to create. And as you can see, this download now... Uh, this is actually to another uh, Max Bounty offer here, right? And this is actually for Envato. Envato um, it's called Envato Elements. It's for another offer. But I just want to show you that it's very, very easy to create a landing page. And that is something that I highly recommend for this offer. You will not be able to run these ads directly. Okay. Now, when it comes to actually uh, basically uh, creating the banners... What you want to do is you want to basically Google for something like Google Display Network Ad Specs. And once we Google for that, most common AdWords display ad sizes. And what you can do is you can basically create multiple banners, with different ad sizes, and they're going to be displayed on different parts of um, kind of the page. And if we look, at, if we open this article right here, I can show you exactly how this is going to work, right? And so what they're basically saying is that here is the, the, the most common AdWords display ad sizes and the top performing AdWords banner sizes, according to Google. And we have the medium rectangle, which is going to be here, you know, large rectangle, leaderboard. This is how it's going to appear on the page. Remember, when you're buying uh, banner ads, they're basically going to be placed on the so-called partner sites, which is basically anybody who wants to make money with Google. Uh, they're earning money using AdSense and you're buying it using Google Display Network, right? And basically Google is making the difference what they're selling to you and what, you know, they're basically selling to the, uh, to the end user, right? They're kind of making the spread there, right? That's their business model. And so that's kind of what you want to do. So what I did is I basically went to a tool called Canva, canva.com, which I use for a lot of kind of banner image work, right? And what you basically do is you, you click on create a design, you click custom dimensions, and you can actually enter one of these dimensions. Now, before you do that, you, can, you, got, you have to find the images, right? Sometimes they give you images, sometimes they do not. For this particular offer, uh, sometimes they have a link here. Hey, download this image pack. There are some images for banners. They, they're not giving you images. So you can basically Google uh, for, you know, scholarship owl images or banners or something like that. I found a couple. I have my scholarship owl here, and, if, and I have a couple of images. Here's one image, here's another one, here's another one. This is actually probably a landing page, but this is a banner that is, is, a, is a pretty legit, you know, tech, check, your, check your chances. This is a banner that we can use, and so this is something we're going to be using. And so I also went to Canva. I basically created a custom size, and I basically upload this image. And what we want to do is, right, in this case, this image is, is a little bit wider um, then it needs to be right this the ad that we're going to be running is more of a square size it's almost a square and if we scroll if we basically stretch this image across the entire ad you, as you can see there's some kind of padding on top and the bottom so this is not going to be good so what i basically did i'm basically stretching this image entirely over um, the available kind of paddings right and what i did is i basically scrolled it here right and this is, this is what I did, right? And I basically, this is kind of the ad we're going to be running with. Okay, so if we do that, this is what we have. It's not ideal, but this is the best that we can come up with. This is actually fine because this is actually a really good banner, right? It has a call to action, which is a button. So it's basically telling the person, right? This is how it's going to appear if you put it to 100%. 
register for hundreds of scholarship with just one application check your chances and when you have a call to action that makes it a lot more incredibly it, it really increases the click-through rate right so when you have check your chances uh it makes it a lot easier okay and this is kind of the ad we're gonna run and if you'd like you can you can hire somebody to create these banners for you you can uh kind of create your own banner if you'd like but this is the one we're going to be using okay so now we have one image the next step is to basically go go into google ads and google ads has search campaigns display campaigns and video campaigns right search campaigns is those text-based ads when people type for something uh these are like you know pay-per-click ads uh, th this is basically search marketing right that appear above and kind of at the bottom of the search result uh, pages so and then video campaigns are the youtube stuff right the youtube ads and we're going to click on display ads display campaigns we're going to click on this plus sign here actually we're going to click on display campaigns and we're going to click on overview right that's the most important thing we're going to click on new campaign okay uh we're going to go into website traffic we're going to click on display we're going to click on choose a uh, standard display campaign we're going to click on continue here and now we're going to start actually configuring the campaign so the first step in the configuration is the actual campaign i'm going to call it c1 just to keep things very very simple uh select locations to target this is going to be united states because this is only for the united states uh target is we do not we don't want the first option because we don't really care about people who show interest in the united states we only care about people in or regularly in your targeted location exclude we're going to leave that uh on the default bidding as conversions we're going to leave this uh as how it is as well we're going to scroll down and here is where we configure our ad group all right so i'm going to call this ad group one ag1 and what is an ad group an ad, an, ad, an ad group is how you define your your demographics your people and you do it uh, using two ways really uh the first one is basically you're you're trying to define what kind of people you want to target right so this is their ages locations um you know things like that you know sex female male gender uh and then the the second type is the content where do they hang out what kind of uh youtube channels do they view what kind of um you know websites do they visit things like that and what i recommend is when you're actually creating your different audiences is that you separate them into different ad groups okay so what we're gonna do here right right now if you're going to the right hand side you see there's gonna be estimates here right right now it's showing that the available impressions is 10 billion which is way way too much because we haven't really defined our targeting so what we're gonna do is we're gonna type scholarship here in the search for the audiences and we're gonna see what what uh kind of uh, things that we can choose from and so we have college scholarship and scholarship application forms now if you hover over college scholarship you see that the impressions weekly is 1 billion to 5 billion which is way too much right and if you go into the second result scholarship application forms we have 10 million to 50 million that's a lot better for us this is exactly kind of how we want because it's a lot more specific and it really tells us kind of what what we're actually looking for so we're going to select that and if we go to the right hand side you're going to see we're down from 10 billion to 13 million and this is a lot more workable right this is a lot more suitable for us and if we scroll down we can also reach our demographics now typically gender is going to be wide open because these are both male and female the age we can limit this to 18 to 24 basically deselect everything uh we can go for not a parent if you want to reach you know the younger audience but the thing about this is that we don't really know if it's going to be the younger people that are going to be going to that website or maybe their parents right with marketing you have these situations where you forget about another demographic so i'm going to keep it simple i'm going to keep all of this wide open and i'm going to keep the rest of it wide open right i can actually go into kind of i can make it um targeting expansion i can disable it i can leave it on default doesn't really matter and what i'm going to do is um and the other thing is right there's also content targeting right but i'm not going to do content targeting here because we already have our demographics where we have a custom intent audience for a scholarship application form so google knows you know that this is the audience that's interested it could be their parents searching for scholarships for their kids or it could be you know the the you know the the kids themselves right the kids the teenagers themselves who are looking for uh this kind of information 
All right, so I'm gonna only click on this. I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna leave everything wide open. We have 13 million. I'm gonna move, uh, kind of disable the targeting extension, right? Because we don't need it. 11 million is, is a lot, right? So we're gonna leave it at that and that's fine for me. The next thing we wanna do is, is we wanna create the ad, right? So we basically click on change. Here, we wanna we want display, upload display ads, okay? And so we're not gonna be doing a responsive ad. We're gonna keep it very, very simple. And so we have the ad, right? We have, now we're gonna upload the ad that we created. Show the file, the ad that we created. And that uploads it here. And we have the ad, right? And then the final URL, right? You want it to be basically for the, you want it to be the landing page or the website or something. You don't want a direct link to the offer, right? It's just not gonna work. It's always a bad idea. And so the URL, I am not gonna basically, I'm gonna go ahead and put one of my other URLs here, right? Because uh, this is gonna be a completely different URL, but this is for the purpose of this tutorial for the ad, right? And we basically going to URL options. There's some other options you can pick. We're gonna click on add to ad group here. And that's it. Now we basically, uh, we basically created the campaign, right? So all we need to do is click on create the campaign. Okay, so we need to add the budget. Uh, our daily budget, we're gonna enter $10 for our daily budget, okay? And basically we have some, we're gonna get 720,000 impressions, which is absolutely fine. Clicks 40 to 140, we have, um, you know, average CPC, which is still relatively good. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be basically create a campaign. So it wants us to add the ad group bid. So let's bid uh, $1 just to keep things very, very simple create a campaign and that's it we've created the campaign okay at this point we're done it's going to go into google google is going to try to basically you know see if it's a good campaign they're going to try to approve it if not and i have a couple of suggestions one thing is that you want to do is you want to create multiple ad groups depending on your demographics right one could be just for the audience another one could be for the content stuff right another one could be something else if you go through the screen you can create multiple ad groups and see which ones convert better and instead of having a $10 per ad group, you can have a $5 per ad group. So you can have two or three ad groups running at you know $15 per day or $10 per day. If you have a two and a half dollar per day daily budget for the ad group, you can have four ad groups and you'll be spending $10 per day. And then you, that way you can track where the sales are, you know, who, what, what's working, what's not working. And that is something I can recommend. Another thing you wanna do is you wanna create three ads for the ad group, right? You don't wanna have one ad group that with one ad, you wanna have multiple ads. And so, you know, as I showed showed you before, I downloaded three different ads and I can basically create uh, three different banners and I can basically go out and create three different ads using those banners. And that is how you do it, right? Remember, the most important thing is the, is the offer, right? Traffic source is the same. The offer is the most important thing. You need to run with a quality offer. You cannot do sweepstakes service or anything like that. And that is all I wanted to talk about today. I just wanted to show you an, a very unique method to promote a very legit offer using this uh, Google Display Network. And so I really hope you've gotten some value from this video. If you enjoyed this video, definitely smash the like button. If you wanna see other videos such as this one, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell. And if you have any questions or comments, you're not sure about anything, just leave them below. We'd be happy to help you out if I can. All right, so again, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.